Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're back, then this is another video about scholarships that you can apply for starting today. They're due in the month of August. If you're watching this video in a year that's after this, like 2022 or 2023, these scholarship application deadlines typically renew every year, so just click on the link in the description and check out the new deadlines for the new application year. Remember, these private scholarships are all free money available to help you pay for college so you don't have to take out any of those student loans so that you can start your life off debt free. Let's get started. All right, guys, the first one we have for you today is by the American Red Cross. This is the Leaders Save Lives Scholarship Program. You host a blood drive and you make your mark on the world. Sign up to be a host. By signing up to be a host, you're gonna do basically run a blood drive and based on the number of pints of blood that you collect, put you in different categories where you're gonna definitely get awarded a gift card and then you get entered to win a scholarship. And there are different tiers of scholarships that you can win based on how many pints of blood that you got in your blood drive. Let's take a look. So if we scroll down here, here's the program awards. Here's the deadlines for, uh, or the, the different drawings for spring, summer, and winter. So you can do this at different times of the year. And so for summer, that's what this one is due in August. If you collect between 25 and 59 pints of blood, then you will be entered in a scholarship for up to a thousand or for a thousand dollars. And there'll be six winners. If you get 60 to 99 pints, you could be entered to win $1,500, two winners. And if you get over 100 pints of blood in your blood drive, then you will be entered to win $2,500 and there'll be two winners at that level. You will also win, not be entered to win, but actually be awarded a gift card in the amount of 50, 100, or $200, again, depending on the amount of pints that you did collect. Now, I will say I looked through the description and through all the general guidelines and everything else, I could not actually find where these gift cards are to. I don't know if they're just generic like Visa gift cards that you can use anywhere, but I couldn't find specifics on what the gift cards are that you're gonna be awarded. But again, 50, 100 bucks or 200 bucks for a gift card to somewhere. And again, likely it's something generic like a Visa gift card that you can use wherever you want. Um, coming down here, it says, here's how you can get involved. So sign up to host a blood drive. And again, we're talking about summer. So the dues, uh, the deadline is between June 1st and August 31st when you have to do your blood drive. And it says form a recruitment committee to make your blood drive a success. Recruit your friends, family, and the community to donate at your blood drive and then collect 25 pints or more at your blood drive and you will earn a gift card and be entered to win a scholarship. So then we have some specific stuff here that has a program sheet. So for summer, we'll click on that. This says host a blood drive. It kind of goes over the same sort of stuff. Now here it says, to be eligible, a student blood program leader must be enrolled in high school or college, host a blood drive between the dates we just talked about, form a recruitment committee and invite your friends, family and community to donate blood and then collect 25 pints or more. And again, we talked about this, your gift card amounts and your scholarship drawing awards. So this is just a quick summary page. If we click back out of that, the other thing that they have here is the terms and conditions for the summer program. This is basically a lot of the fine print stuff. So you can kind of go through here. It says mostly the same stuff we've already talked about. Again, June through August 31st. It does say a school may be used as a blood drive site as long as the school is out of session. It does say a donor center or regularly scheduled mobile operations um, those are not eligible for blood drive sites. Obviously, they're wanting you to create a blood drive that's in addition to what they already offer. So you can't just use a site that they're already going to be at and then like say, oh, this is my blood drive. No, you have to like create the event and then invite people to it. So just be aware of that. Um, and again, talking about how many pints you get and what kind of scholarship you can be awarded. Scrolling down here, here's the gift card amounts once again. And then here it says prize drawing. A random drawing for the scholarship will be conducted on or about September 8th of 2021. Winners will be notified by telephone and or email. Any selection entrant who cannot be contacted or who fails to respond to any telephone message or email sent to such selected entrant within three days, three business days of the first attempt to contact, such selected entrant or who does not accept the prize may be declared ineligible and the sponsor reserves the right in such event and its sole discretion to select at random from another uh, from among all remaining eligible entrants so basically they're saying we're going to let you know if you won around september 8th and if you don't get back to us then you basically forfeit your scholarship definitely pay attention around september 8th for a phone call or an email and make sure that you respond within three days so that you don't miss out on winning this scholarship and then down here they have some examples of people that have done this blood drive in the past 
so you can host your own start now. So click there and get started and that will be your Leader Save Lives scholarship program. That's our first scholarship for today, moving on to number two. But before we do the second scholarship, I just wanna let you know I do have my free scholarship prep bundle that is linked in the description. If you download that, it's four different resources that'll help you prepare and apply for scholarships, making your odds of winning even better, helping you write essays, what do you need to include, what do you need to leave out, different information about that, and getting letters of recommendation for those scholarships that require it. You can also use this information to get letters of recommendation for your college applications, so definitely check that out in the description. It is completely free to download. I created that resource just to help people like you help to pay for college without having to take out student loans. On to scholarship number two. All right, scholarship number two here is the SBB Research Group STEM Scholarship. So about the SSB, B Research Group STEM Scholarship. It is a scholarship that encourages and empowers students to create significant value and countless new opportunities for society through their pursuits of higher education, especially through interdisciplinary combinations of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, which is what STEM stands for. In 2021, this scholarship will be awarded on a quarterly basis. So in addition to the due date here in August, they also have due dates all throughout the year each quarter. So if you miss this one, go, go ahead and apply for the next one and just keep applying each quarter until you win. It does say that there will be a total of four $2,500 scholarships that will be awarded throughout the year. So how do you apply for this one? Well, it says again, it's awarded on a quarterly basis and the next application deadline is August 31st. So the guidelines, basically they wanna read your response to this question. What have been your most significant experiences in STEM, again, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and how will you use STEM principles to improve the world? And this should be a short essay. It says 500 words or less. So it is a short essay. Eligibility is that you're currently enrolled as a full-time student, pursuing a degree in a STEM field, and immediately family, immediate family members of current SBB research group employees are not eligible. I imagine that's a pretty small group, likely nobody in my audience, but who knows? So the winner selection, so here's what you need to know. There will be one award for this due date in August of $2,500 scholarship via the following process. The committee will select the eligible candidate with the best submission in its sole and absolute discretion shortly after the application deadline. Once notified by email, a candidate will have two weeks to accept the award. Failure to accept the award within two weeks shall disqualify the candidate. Pay attention after this deadline of August 31st. Make sure you're keeping track of your emails and phone calls so that you don't miss being notified of a scholarship so that they go to the next person in line. Don't lose out on free money that you actually won because you forgot to reply to an email. That would be terrible. And the last one, acceptance of the award may, be, uh, may have additional requirements set by the committee and or the students, college, university, trade school, or design school. How about that? Trade schools and design schools are included for eligibility. That's cool. And the committee reserves the right to request further information from you, including but not limited to documents in support of the information that you provide. So they might follow up and just ask you to provide additional information for eligibility and, and enrollment in schools or transcripts or things like that. So just give them whatever they're asking for so that you can win the scholarship. All right, and down here, this is the third quarter application of due August 31st. Applications are now open. And again, this is basically, you're gonna fill out all this information. And, uh, and if we scroll down here, then you just hit next and you keep going. And that's how you fill it out or you can contact them. So this one's pretty straightforward, a 500 word essay or less, and you could win up to $2,500 for college. On to scholarship number three. And again, I talk about uh, Anthony O'Neill all the time, but again, Debt Free Degree is another great book, another great resource available to help you pay for college without student loans. Link down in the description, but this is a great book that I've read multiple times and it has fantastic information even beyond scholarships. So check this book out. All right, our next one here is a Michael Moody personal training. That's what he was offering this next scholarship. And here it is, the 2021 Michael Moody Fitness Scholarship. Now coming down here, this scholarship award is $1,500 awarded to a high school senior undergraduate or graduate student who has demonstrated outstanding achievement, participation, and leadership in school activities and work experience. And they're interested in pursuing a career in health and fitness related fields. The student may apply and use the money for educational related purposes, including tuition, fees, books, supplies, room and board. And the scholarship is sponsored by Michael Moody Fitness. So that's what you need to know down here, some application deadlines. It says uh, August 1st, and it says your scholarship application must be one of the first thousand submitted by the deadline date. So try to get it in sooner than later. Make sure that you're one of those first thousand. Who is eligible? Be a United States citizen or legal resident living or claiming residency in one of the 50 United States, Washington, DC, or Puerto Rico. Be current, be current high school senior, undergraduate, or graduate student enrolled in accredited two-year or four-year university. This one's not for trade schools or uh, design schools like the last one, just for your two and four-year schools. Demonstrates ambition and self-drive as evidenced by outstanding achievement in school and participation in leadership in school activities and work experience. 
and then demonstrate interest in pursuit of a career and enrollment in the following majors, athletic training, psychology, biology, kinesiology, nursing, etc., etc., etc. You can read all of those for yourself. What will be awarded? A $1,500 scholarship award. Let's see. How do I apply? Uh, apply for a scholarship link at the bottom of this page. You're going to give details of outstanding achievement in school, list of involvement in school and in community activities, work experience, and your high school grade point average. They do say only electronic scholarship applications received will be considered. Paper copies won't be. So make sure that you're using the things that they say. And how and when will I be notified? This is the important part. All applicants will be notified of their status via email in early August 2021. The email address on file must be active and you must check your email regularly. Finalists will receive instructions regarding further documentations required for recipient selection. So again, check your email, make sure that you're paying attention and not missing out when you're notified to say, hey, you're a finalist, but we need another piece of paper. How and when are scholarships paid? They are paid in one installment in September of 2021. They're paid by these people and the checks will be made to the school of the recipient's account. So that's what you need to know. And then you would go here, apply for the Michael Moody Fitness Scholarship here. And then you can look here at the winner from 2021 and read about his experience. Um, and so this is another scholarship where you could win $1,500 from the Michael Moody Fitness Scholarship. On to scholarship number four. All right, our fourth scholarship here is for education. It says Future Educator Scholarship. This is offered by the Mrs. Prindables Gourmet Caramel Apples. Who wouldn't like a gourmet caramel apple? They talk about their experience here. They say they're pleased to extend a 2021 scholarship opportunity. And it says, whether you're an incoming freshman or current student majoring in education, we want to encourage you to apply for this $1,000 scholarship. Fill out the form below and upload either your transcript or acceptance letter, and then tell us why you want to be an educator. What do you believe you have to offer the students of the future? The deadline is 8-19-2021 for submissions. And it says, that no, uh, recipients will be notified via email on or about 8 25 2021 it says a check of $1,000 will be made payable to the award recipient's college or university. The recipient is expected to submit receipts in accordance with IRS regulations. So they're just talking about tax information there. And then here's who won it from 2020. You fill out this information here, and then you actually, you're gonna upload that file, your transcript or exception letter, and then you put your 500 character. Wow, that is short. What do you believe you have to offer the students of our future? Put your little essay there, say you're not a robot, submit, you're done. You're entered to win $1,000. So that one's pretty straightforward, pretty quick and easy. On to scholarship number five. All right, our fifth and final scholarship here is the Global Perspective Scholarship by Rustic Pathways. And if we come down here, it says that they empower students to positively impact lives and communities around the world through its innovative and responsible travel experiences. So they are offering a $1,000 scholarship to a high school or college student attending an accredited college or university in 2021. $1,000 will be granted to the school that referred the winning student. And it says to apply for this scholarship, follow the instructions below. Submit the online application form and answer the following essay question under 500 words. What kind of global impact project is most critical for you to focus on and why? And what is your plan to make that impact in the next year and beyond? So entry deadline is August 1st. You click apply now and you can get started on that application. Again, first place is $1,000 and they actually have runner up awards for $250 for two other winners. An award of $1,000 will also be granted to the school that referred the first place winning student. What's the process? So they're gonna review the essay question. This is the essay question we just talked about. You're going to complete and submit the online application before August 1st, and then judging will be based on the quality of your submission. Obviously, they're gonna read your essays and that's how they're gonna determine who wins. And then you have to agree to the following terms and conditions. And again, it's a $1,000 award or $250 for each of the runner-up awards that can be used for tuition and books. Apply now. And then here's some frequently asked questions. If you have any other further questions there, here's the scholarship agreement and the terms and conditions you will need to read and agree to if you wanna be eligible. And then some examples of people in the past. And then here's a little bit about what Rustic Pathways is and what they do. And you can check out anything else on their website there. So another opportunity where you could win $1,000 with a 500 word essay. Those are our five scholarships for this time, all due in August. Remember, if you're watching this video after 2021, a lot of these scholarship deadlines renew every single year. So look at these same websites and click and apply for the scholarships next year as well. I wanna help empower you in order to not have to take out student loans to pay for college. So definitely check out these scholarships and subscribe to the channel so that you have access to all the other scholarship 
and college related content I put out there. Also, if you want to learn the basics on investing and building your wealth and other personal finance topics, then definitely subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to smash that like button. If you like this video, you're definitely going to like this video. I have a playlist right there with scholarship information for you, or you can head down to the channel and you can check out all my other videos for you. Remember, you can pay for college without student loans. Stay empowered and we'll see you next time.